Trustful serves 4,180 students with approximately 450 employees. We have all 21st century classrooms and an open internet policy. All students have their own network passwords, which helps provide better network security and services. All students have their own websites, which aid in collaboration with our Bring Your Own Device plan. In order to truly move the school system forward, each principal was tasked with developing time within the school daily or weekly for ongoing professional learning. Payne Primary and Payne Intermediate schools release students at 2 o'clock every Monday. The teachers work collaboratively until 4 p.m. Payne Intermediate School organizes club days every other Thursday to enable an additional hour of professional learning for each teacher cohort. Hewitt Trustful Middle School developed a second prep period of 45 minutes during the day to enable all teachers to meet by grade level. Hewitt Trustful High School students arrive at 9.30 on Thursdays, while teachers arrive at their regular 7.45 time to collaborate within their departments. During collaboration, faculty and staff are led by administrators, teacher leaders, district specialists, local and national leaders to design engaging lessons, discuss current research and trends, analyze student work and other data sources, and reflect on teaching and learning experiences within their classroom and school. Administrators and the school design team meet to develop experiences for job embedded professional learning to support systemic growth. Teacher leaders guide groups during weekly and or daily collaborations. Video plays a large part in professional learning. A team of teachers volunteer to have the lesson the group designed be videotaped for reflection during professional learning. The group uses protocols to have disciplined conversations. So if they ask the question about number six, I can just take that red dot back up to six and then go over it so there's nothing below. So all the emphasis on it, you're writing on a piece of paper. Yes. Okay, so you're standing there writing on a piece of paper during class? No, no, no. I do this before. Okay. Um, this is just, this is That's already, how you're using yes, it to review. This is already written because I wrote it, and then once you push record, that's when it starts to do like in live time. Okay. So I had students explain problems. Uh, I was able to do this yesterday during the day because we were giving a retest. I've got students that had scored so high on the first one that they didn't want to do it. They scored 100 or high 90s. I sent them to the library with a problem to do. I uh, gave them a quick rundown on how it works, and the seventh graders got the hang of it just like, like that. And will not, will not present in front of the class. And we have a pretty open class where we all take turns presenting in front of the class a lot. Uh, they serve, show more problems than I do, but she does not want to talk at all. And the child only makes 100 on everything that she does, but she just doesn't want to talk. But she didn't really mind doing this. You can see she's a little nervous with the giggles. So with that SharePoint, especially with parents, I mean, you can be on the same page, your parents can be on the same page as you, because they can see what you're explaining and how you're doing it. So you're basically teaching to them too, so that can, they can reinforce it. I would have been lost last night with inequalities <laughs> without saying these things. So yes. Just providing the opportunity. We're putting another tool in your toolbox, so to speak. So I love hearing Connie say that as a parent, she saw the benefit last night with her own child. Through vertical teaming and ongoing professional conversations, teachers are producing content for students to meet the academic needs. Mr. James, high school pre calculus teacher, explains concepts using a live scribe pen that records his notes and audio that students can access anytime, anywhere. A product of professional learning within the fourth grade math cohort, teachers developed math strategy videos to assist students and parents. I'm Britt and I'm Alex. Today we are going to teach you a fast way to do addition. It's called the up and down way. Our numbers are 256 and 345. But first we've got to estimate. You're on 256 to 260. Why don't we round out to 300? Because then 260 will get you closer to the answer. Alright. You're on 345 to 350. Why don't we round up to three hundred? I mean, round down to three hundred. The same as two sixty. It'll get you closer to the answer. 
Some of the methods that teachers and students are using to create public math videos are the LiveScribe pen, the airliner or interactive whiteboard by Smart Technologies, the free education app for iPads, and PowerPoints that are saved as videos. Another way students are interacting with information is through QR codes added to picture books to enable the students to deepen their learning. With a mobile device's camera and a QR code reading app such as Enigma, a student scans the codes to watch a video about tsunamis, a map comparing Trustful to the location of the Wildlife Preserve, and OMAs and Mazay's own website. Teachers create individual QR codes using the QR Stuff website at qrstuff.com. Once on the website, select the type of information to be shared, such as the link to the website or text. Choose a color and then your code is ready to be downloaded. Printing the code allows for posting in a variety of spaces. Content is not just created for the classroom. Every year, third grade students take a walking tour of Trussville to see up close the history behind the city. The Trussville Cemetery has some extra features from years past. Four QR codes were temporarily added to key areas for groups to scan with their mobile devices. Students read text to learn about the original site, Warren Truss, the founder of Trussville, the Hewitt family, and Samuel Truss, the oldest grave in the cemetery. The idea was first discussed in a QR code workshop offered during the first week of professional development this school year. Laura Smith, third grade teacher, said the QR codes gave the students something to look for in the cemetery. Four classes at a time will complete the walking tour of Trustville within the month of September. The teachers are already looking forward to next year's field trip to add QR codes to the library, Bryant Bank, and other stops along the tour. When traveling on field trips in which you cannot physically add a QR code, each group could be given a sheet of paper with the codes to scan when they are at specific locations. The QR codes used for this project use text instead of linking to online videos and sites because of lack of wireless internet access for all. Teachers are also creating rich interactive websites to guide students on virtual field trips, research, and more. The Zoo Virtual Field Trip was created by Charlene Hallman, kindergarten through second grade technology teacher using Microsoft Word saved as HTML files. Students begin by clicking on the school bus to enter the zoo. Once in the zoo, students select an animal house to explore. There are many different types of animals to explore within each house. By clicking on the web camera icon located below an animal's picture, you can view a live webcast of the animal within its natural habitat or a zoo. By clicking on the movie clapper, you can see a video of the animal. Clicking on the sound button allows you to hear the sounds the animal would make. And then clicking on the globe shows you a map of where the animal lives. The Monterey Bay Aquarium has many live web cameras to watch animals interact with each other and zookeepers. The following sites were made with Wix.com, W-I-X.com. Once you create a free account with Wix.com, you are then able to choose one of many templates that they have available. Once you have edited your page using the navigation on the left, you can publish it as either a Flash website or an HTML5 website. We choose HTML5 because we have a lot of iPads within our system. It is critical to access students' knowledge along the way to reteach and or redesign resources. Socrative is a free web-based student response system that allows an internet-enabled device to become a clicker. The teacher can send multiple choice, true, false, and short answer questions on the fly and also assign pre-created quizzes. Answer choices can be randomized and immediate feedback is given on most questions. And best of all, once the teacher ends the activity, an Excel spreadsheet of responses is emailed immediately. Pain Intermediate teachers decided they needed an online space to organize and share collaborative lesson plans, resources, assessments, and more. Each math and literacy cohort at each grade level has their own site where all members contribute. 
The online space is the collective wisdom of the group. By working together to design the best experiences possible, all students receive similar experiences and are viewed by all teachers as their students. Edmodo is another free way to share resources, ask questions, and collaborate online. Not only can teachers join school-based professional learning teams, but also join global communities within Edmodo, such as language arts, math, science, project-based learning, format, and many more. By expanding your personal learning network, you are able to bring fresh ideas to your school-based communities. Thank you for joining Creating Learning Experiences with Alpha Textbook. We sincerely hope at least one idea we share today starts or helps you along your journey to creating content.